Oh gosh, this is a big fish. the last video you'll probably notice a lot of the same spots I'm basically just gonna be doing the same trip just trying to hook up on some fish so we got some cool rapids right here that might be holding the fish but last time we had some luck right here in the slow stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and walk on over and uh, get my line in the water for the first time today got a fish on guys just drifted it right down there in that main area no GoPro like I said so let's see if I can set the camera up while I have the fish on feels pretty decent guys feels like a good fish uh, 15 minutes now oh gosh this is a big fish decent fish guys I also don't have a net oh my gosh this is a beautiful fish I just got a tire him out because I don't have a net guys I got him on the baitis He's hooked right in the lip of the mouth. Look at this, guys. This fish is awesome. I've been fishing all day. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow, guys, uh, that was a, that was an experience. By far the biggest wild rainbow trout I've ever caught. It was just drifting right down here in the middle of the current. Hadn't had a bite all day. This is I was getting kind of frustrated, and then I hooked up. I'm probably my favorite fish I've ever caught in my life. I didn't have my net, and my net was really cool. It had like a little marks in it to tell me how big that fish would have been. But I'm guessing probably not pretty pretty close to 20 inches. Got one, guys. Got another one, guys. Feels about the same size, if not bigger, than the last one. Wow, I'm so excited. This is awesome fishing. He's a little bit smaller than the last one, but he feels like he's got a lot of fight. Here we go, guys. He's a lot smaller than the last one. But he's got a lot of fight. I'm not actually sure if he's a lot smaller. I haven't seen him right very close yet. So sorry I don't have the GoPro, guys. I'm doing my best out here, but no fish all day. And then I think the hatch started, and I'm um, just two fish back to back right in here. Oh yeah, he's smaller, but he's got he's got a lot of fight. Still a beautiful fish. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't have a net, so gotta wait for him to get tired out, and then I'll bring him in. These fish have so much energy. Both on the bird's nest. It's a beautiful fish. Check this out, guys. Check out this fish. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Nowhere near as big as the last one, but still a really nice fight fish. Look at that. Right there on the roof. Let's let him breathe real quick. Let's release this guy. There he goes. Wow, guys, this is awesome. I thought I was gonna have a skunk of a day out here, and now I'm just hooking up like crazy. Let's see if we can do it again.
There's a fish. Got one. Nice. Yeah. Got him on the fly rod. I'm stoked. It took like what, four or five casts? Had a little lunch break, came back out. This guy's just holding, he is not moving. Wow. I'm hoping he doesn't turn downstream and just take me. Oh, there he goes, he's turning downstream. He's not backing down. Here, let's see if we can. Guys, look at this fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. I cannot believe that. I can't believe I brought in all three of these fish without having a net. Here, let's let's uh, measure this one. He's right, he's just right here in the shallow water. Just keeping him, letting him breathe. Okay, he's, so he goes from the butt of the rod all the way to that little blue wrap about there. Nice, all right, let's release this guy. There he goes. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe this. I can't believe this, man. This day of fishing out here is just amazing. And I forgot my GoPro and I forgot my net. It's on those, it's on those trips, man, where you, lose, where you lose something like that, your net or your GoPro, and you catch the biggest fish. I'm so happy that I'm able to actually share it with you guys, but that fish took me so long. And he was actually flossed, so that wasn't even technically a real fish that I caught. Because he took my first fly, I missed the hook set, but by the time my hook set, the, the line of the second fly went through his mouth and then hooked him right here on the jaw. So if I was trying to harvest fish, and if that was a legal fish, I wouldn't have been able to keep him. Because your fly has to be in their mouth. But that was just my bad. I set the hook a little too late, so it's called flossing him. Well, People use the term flossing for other things too. Whew. That was awesome. That's something else, man. I can't really describe to you that feeling of just, after last week fishing all day and watching AJ hook up like eight beautiful fish, and after all morning to this morning, just setting your line on snags and casting all day and I can't really describe to you how awesome it feels to see that bobber go down, set your hook, and to feel that pressure of a fish right there. That's just, that feeling is one in a million. It's so awesome. So rewarding to be able to bring that fish in too and just get a look at him. I wish I could harvest that fish and do a catch and pick. That would be, that would be something special, but that was a wild fish and pretty much, there's no hatchery up here and you're only allowed to keep hatchery fish. So the only way we would have been doing a catch and cook today is if we, uh, caught a hatchery fish that had basically taken a wrong turn and come up this river. Pretty much not allowed to keep any wild fish in California unless you're like up in the Alpine Lakes or something like that. But I was having a couple of really hard days at work and just with life the last couple days and so to be able to come up here and just, I don't know, get this experience is just such a refreshing moment, you know. I think we all need to do this just to take a, a day, a month or one day a week or one day a month, just you know, be on your own outside. It's pretty beneficial. Right here in your soul, man. I love coming out and fishing with people. Fishing with people is like a way to fellowship for me and it's just kind of like sharing the moment and the time together out in the water. And any chance I get, I always, you know, love to go with someone new, make a new friend, or go with some, someone in my family or one of my friends, but it's all, there's also something special about being out here on your own. Especially when you don't see anybody, like I haven't seen anybody out here all day. And just, you know, you get to be on your own, just you, yourself, and God. That's pretty cool. That fish was so big though. Did you see? That was crazy. I'm still just mind boggled by that fish. That was, oh man. The colors on that and just its size. This is that fly though that I caught him on. I caught both fish on. It's this bird's nest. Let's see, can you see that? Tiny little bird's nest fly. Underneath that I got a little tiny, 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 tiny betis fly. It's so hard to tie the knots on these flies, they're just so tiny. 
Check out this hat though, guys. I got this hat made for me by someone on Instagram, subscriber on Instagram. Um, I think at some point, you know, if you guys want to buy them, just let me know. If there's like a lot of interest, if you guys want one of these hats, I'd love to get one for you, so let me know. I can get it for you. you can send me a message on Instagram. That's usually the best way to get a hold of me, or you can uh, just comment below. Guys, check this out. I'm pulling up to the next spot, and this is where I'm gonna catch some fish, right in here. Check this out. The river gives and the river takes away. Look at this. Looks like someone old, someone's old fishing there. I'm gonna check it out and see if it works. It looks good. Dude, no way. This is a perfect little fishing net. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is what I've been, this is what I needed like 10 minutes ago. Look at this. This is what I need. Thank you. Sorry for the guy that lost it. I lost mine. Maybe he'll find mine. <laughs> Wow, that was a big fish that just jumped right there. Alright guys, I've been out here for about three hours, nothing. They're not taking anything I want, so I'm gonna call it a day. Make sure to like and subscribe right here. It's been a wonderful day out here. Had some great fish on the fly. I'm super blessed to be out here. They weren't hitting everything I had. I threw everything I had. I threw everything I had in my tackle box, and they're still jumping. They're jumping all over the place, but they're not taking anything I got. So, I'll see you guys next time. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe, and we'll see you next time out here. Palm Circle Pete.